Welcome to the Summer's Woodworking Show. It's Season 4, Episode 16, and tonight we're going to talk about clamps. What do you use, and how do you use them? Uh, first, we're going to start with roll call. Uh, to my left is Shane. Shane, you want to tell people who you are? Well, hi, everybody. My name is Shane. You can find me on all your social networks under YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that, under Shane's Hobby Shop. Come check me out. Please. All right, sounds good. And Russell? Uh, hi, this is Russ, Russ Clarity. You can find me, Simply Wooden Creations, under Periscope, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the above. Just type in Simply Wooden Creations if, and do a search and you'll find me. All right, sounds good. And is this my buddy, Gerald? <laughs> yeah, that's him. Uh, it's Gerald, Van Gerald Vance, he was having technical issues. Can you unmute your microphone at least? No microphone. <laughs> well, it's good to have you on here anyhow. <laughs> ah, crap. Can you at least type in your information and I'll get back to you in a minute. And next we have the Red Nick Woodworker. <laughs> Wait, there's two of us. Yeah, there's two. Which one are you talking about? Well, the one that finds it or the one that... Donald puts the red in Nick. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Donald Matthews, also known as Donald Vlogsifies. My YouTube channel is Donald Vlogsifies Woodshop. My uh, website is rednecknowhow.com. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all my links are on my YouTube channel page. Okay, sounds good. And back to Gerald, he doesn't have a microphone or a webcam, but he wanted to participate. Uh, he can type in the chat over here, and we can read it. Uh, he says, having troubles with stuff. So uh, His name is Gerald Vance at Gerald Vance Woodworks uh, LLC, and you can find him over at www.geraldvancewoodworks.com. And next we have Charles. Okay. Uh, uh, in, in fairness to Gerald, his name is spelled J-E-R-I-L-L. -L, and Vance is like it sounds. Anyway, uh, Charles Daring, D-E-A-R-I-N-G, uh, woodenvisions.com. Go to the link section. By God, you'll find me pretty much everywhere except for, never mind. Oh, I'm going to shut up. It's a family show. How y'all do it? <laughs> Okay. And I found you there a time or two, Charles. So hush. Mr. Meadows, you snuck in. <laughs> I did. Got in under the wire, didn't I? Just in time. Yeah. Uh, it's my turn. Okay. You can find me on uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, under uh, Rusty Nails Woodshop. And that's where I'll be if I'm not looking for Charles Deering. All righty, cool. You got that CNC working? La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to be talking about clamps tonight. So uh, I'll start with Shane. You want to tell people what kind of clamps you have and how do you use them? Yeah, yeah. Actually, what I got here is what I got from my local uh, big box over north. This is the cabinet maker clamp, also known as the K style clamp. Now, this particular name brand is, uh, uh, let me, Jorgensen. They're really nice. This is my little short version. I think it's, uh, oh, like, it's number 30 or 80, 24. I think it's 24 inch long. But uh, I got the uh, different sizes of these. They're really good. It's really simple to use just to. Uh, Make sure it's screwed up all the way, and then you can pick the center up and slide it to wherever you need it. Once you got it uh, butted up to your wood, pop that handle down, and then you start tightening it. You notice this here little clamp here, it goes back. And as it wedges down on this little barb down here, it will actually start tightening up on your project. And everything stays nice and flush to this thing. 
Uh, I've been using these for quite some time. They don't slip like the little hand clamps from Harbor Freight and all them. They do slip from time to time. I'm not talking bad about Harbor Freight. They got some good clamps, but uh, this is these are my favorite. I'm gonna give you a bunch of these. How's that? That's good. Do you use any other kind of clamps? Oh uh, well, well, yeah. The, the Harbor Freight. I got a ton of those. But, what kind? Uh, uh, quick grip. Uh, I think they are the F style. I think that's what Russ called them a while back. But uh, yeah, they're just a normal little beady clamp. I didn't bring them with me. Are they like uh, this? Uh, let me click on you here. Yeah, yeah, I got some of those. Yeah, I hate okay. things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the plastic they bend on them, so you really can't get a good tight grip on it. But these K K clamps, uh, you get Bessie, uh, uh, like the Jurgensen. You get a bunch of other different name brands that are really good. So personally, uh, I don't. I don't have nothing bad talk about K clamps, but uh, yeah, they they really good. I prefer that. Now, uh, you want to know what I do with my clamps? Well, therefore, clamping stuff. Hence the name. Now, now this particular kind again, K clamp. It's a uh, this is for short projects, but uh, you want to do like a cabinet. You're gonna want K case clamps for those because you can get a very long clamp on it. Yeah, you can do pipe clamps too, but your, your clamping is actually pretty small. But K clamp stands up pretty tall and you can get a much more grip on that. So yeah, if y'all haven't used any type of K clamps yet, I suggest, highly suggest doing that. So they they awesome, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, that's what a price wise uh, they do uh, different in prices I have seen them about fifteen dollars I believe for the small ones and they go up in price uh, it's basically unlimited on uh, the price that you can get these but it's well worth the money yeah, go ahead and do that you said fifteen yeah uh, roughly about fifteen twenty for the small ones but they're the well, real that's small a lot ones. cheaper than Bessie's they're going like fifty oh, yeah. bucks aren't they? Bessie. Bessie's, I believe, is the top of the line of the K clamps, and uh, these are the, the cheaper ones. These are probably close to the bottom of the line, but yet yeah, they are really good still. I have no problem with it. Now, uh, I did buy uh, some uh, my big ones. I think they're like four foot long, and with their eighty dollars a piece, not for a pair, but a piece. And uh, yeah, they actually they're worth the money. So yeah, one day I can sweet talk mom and buy me some Bessies. Yeah, I'd do that. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm trying to type up a web address real quick. Uh, go for it. <laughs> Please stand by. <laughs> I didn't think that sort of thing was allowed on the show. <laughs> Okay, where am I? All righty. Well, next is Russell. Which Russell? Clarity. He's eating. He's eating? Yeah. Oh. I'll take it. That means it's you then. I'll okay, take it. Okay, Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to go out on, on a limb here and, and uh, tell y'all guys that I've got Clamp Envy. Uh, all y'all's projects uh, i see all these clamps and and uh big long clamps i mean y'all got clamps for for uh, for me to forever and i i, I got the harbor freight ones and got dogs too uh i the ones you picked up a minute ago brian i broke two of those working on the cnc getting the table yeah <laughs> i broke two of them big long ones i had to go buy two more and uh and I want them little hand clamps. I've got a bunch of those. And believe it or not, I like the hand clamp. But uh, I don't have any of the uh, the Bessies. Yeah. Give me that thumbs down. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've, I've seen several, several of the guys on the panel that have a, a clamp racks full of them long ones and stuff like that. And, man, I tell you what, I get green with envy every time I see those. 
But uh, so far, the heart refrains have been good for me. The little hand cramps have, have worked and they've never broken. Uh, the only ones that broke were the long ones. Yeah, they're, they're plastic and they crank down too hard and there it goes. If you turn green, you got to let off the clamp a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm an un unemployed committee. Okay, well, I'm trying to look for a picture, but I'm not getting it. Uh, Russ, you available? Yeah, I'm available. I okay. finished feeding my face. <laughs> oh, I see the kind of clamps that I use. Good, I don't have to grab them. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was in a hurry. Just got home and my wife had cooked, so I was trying to eat before her. Trying to get it done before the show started, but unfortunately I didn't. But my belly is full, so me me good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the blue ones there you got, I just bought a whole bunch of those. Uh, these, the blue ones back got, here, you talking about this? These? Yeah. Yeah, these came from Harbor Freight. This one came from Harbor Freight. Yeah. And yeah, I bought, kind of yeah, I bought like six of them at one time uh, to try them. And to be honest with you, I'm very impressed with them. Uh, they're not the strongest, for instance. This is a set of Bessie pipe clamps. Uh, yeah. Which, what you do with these, you just buy. Let me see if I can get this thing up here. If it will cooperate. There we go. You just buy uh, these at the store and then you put your piece of pipe on it whatever size you want you can put four six three whatever size these now, do you have to get those threaded or uh or yes they have to, they, uh, it has to be a threaded because this end here actually screws on to the end of the pipe right can they do that at the store or are you yeah, they can do it at the store yes but usually okay. you, can buy, you can buy the pipes and they carry one uh, two, three, four, six, eight foot sections of this, so you really don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I can. I want to set just like that from uh, Jay, Jay Bates, but yeah. I've never bought the pipe because I don't have a threader, you know. These are but very, uh, you know, like I said, it's pre threaded pipe at uh, your box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, carries sections two, four, six, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Uh, oh, okay. In threaded oh. sizes, yeah, yeah. You don't have to thread them. Uh, I was going to try to get this off, but I think it might be a little tighter than what I can do. Yeah, I can't get it off by hand. These are very, very strong. These are from Harbor Freight, uh, and they work very good. Uh, you just move the clamp up and down like that on them. Uh, but they are a lot weaker than these. I've got like uh, six of these and six of these. Uh, these are very, very, very strong. These will not bend. I mean, you'll end up breaking something uh, before they'll really bend. These, you can get them to bend if you put a lot of force on them. But for your normal glue-ups, these are great. And these come in, uh, I think these are 48-inch. They might even be uh, a little I'd bit longer than 48-inch. Uh, yeah, five this, I think this is five. I think both of these are five foot. I don't think they're four foot. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, I use those for the bigger glue ups. I've got uh, wooden clamps. Um, I really don't use these a lot. I've used them on a few occasions when I've needed them, but uh, I've got them in case I need them. Yep. I've got yeah, two or three. I love my two. <laughs> yeah, I've got two or three sizes of these. Uh, like I said, uh, especially what I like about them is they're the non marring. So yeah. when you're using wood on wood, you, if you're doing something real delicate that's already a finished and it's got broke and you need to put it back together or something like that, these are great to do that because they won't mar up your... Uh... Yeah, it's also great for cedar. Um, these are great for speed clamps. Yeah. Now, the difference between this and that Harbor Freight one is the fact that the Harbor Freight's a piece of crap. This is not. This will hold. Uh, if... I, I mean, I like Harbor Freight for some things. Don't get me wrong. Um, they make uh, F-style clamp. Uh, their F-style clamps are great. They're not quite as quite as heavy duty as the Bessie F-styles, which I'll show them in a second. Second, but uh, yeah, these are fantastic. You need something really quick to grab a hold and put some pressure on. These work fantastic. I love these. I've got a bunch of these that I use. Um, the handles don't break on those. When you clamp, uh, those handles don't break. 
When you're no, clamped no. down tight. Yeah, you ain't going to get these to break. I mean, that's what happened. Yeah. Um, Hold on a minute, Russ. I want to show people. This is your Harbor Freight. Yep. The only thing that's missing is your handle. Yeah. Every one that I buy from Harbor Freight like this, the handle breaks in the same spot. That's what mine did. Two of them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're not going to. I lifetime warranty. I would never get these. But you know what? They replace them. And I'll keep breaking them. <laughs> yeah, these won't break. They I mean, them? I'm not saying that you can't put enough pressure on this to break it. You obviously, if you were a big enough, strong enough person, you probably could. But nah, these ain't gonna break, and they hold very, very well. And you can put a lot of pressure. Um, I've got one. I've got two out there that are these Irwin clamps that it's even uh, bigger than these. I didn't bring it in. But I think it's supposed to put up to like two or three hundred pounds per square inch. I mean, it's just a Mac now, Daddy. Can you use that as a spreader too? This one, yes, you can yeah, use it as a yeah. spreader. Yeah. Um, these are the F-style clamps, and I didn't bring. I've got the, these all the way up to four foot. This is like a twelve inch. This is like two foot. I got three footers, and I've got four footers. Now these are Bessies, but. I've got Harbor Freight ones, and I'll tell you hands down that these type of F clamps in the Harbor Freight brand work just as good as the uh, F clamps of Bessie's. Uh, only thing I've noticed is that the bar here is a little thinner material that, uh, on the Harbor Freight than the Bessie's, but I have put them together and put a lot of force on them to the point that I've had on the three and four footers have this bar start to bow i put so much force on them wow. and the harbor freight uh stayed right with these bessies without any problem so if you're looking for cheap f clamps yeah harbor freight work well just as good as these bessies only reason i, I have them, mine but they kept slipping yeah i've never had one slip the only that reason i've got these bessies is for the last two or three years when i go uh during christmas time uh Home Depot usually has a sale on Bessie's clamps where you can buy a pack of like four of these for a price or four of these for a price. And I usually grab them when they're on sale on a, on a special like that. That's the reason I've collected a lot of the. These were probably, this would be probably my number one go-to clamp as far as for quick. And But 90% or 80% of my glue-ups are done with these F clamps. Okay. I, I probably don't use these big clamps. Two or three times a year, maybe. And then I've got uh, an assortment of all kind of C clamps. I got even some smaller ones than these. I didn't, wasn't able to bring them in. They're about half the size of this. Now he's going old school. <laughs> yep. Uh, got them. You know, all different types of C clamps. These are fantastic. These will put a heck of a lot of pressure on something if you need a lot of force. But unfortunately, two things. They're limited into their width this way and their depth this way. Yeah. So, no, but good, 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 good clamps. These are a Bessie clamp, and the, uh, but these are really small and they don't take a lot of torque. I mean, they, you can, uh, I've tried on scroll saw projects. If you break something, then you need something small to put some force on that's not a lot. These will work good. Other than that, throw them out the door. I've used them. I've got a set of these I bought just for the heck of it uh, several years ago, and uh, I've used them on scroll saw projects. They work great. Uh, another quick clamp that works great is these uh, Irwin clamps, and they come in different sizes, and they'll put a lot of pressure, and they're really, really, really quick. Oh, um, those are matching, huh? Yeah, you yeah you just get a hold of a. Just get whatever you want. Just clamp down really hard. Um, they're pretty pretty doggone strong. Hmm. And then when you want to release them, you just huh. So these work really nice for. Uh, now they make a set of these. Rock Clear I think has a set of these that are out that are uh, actually have a band in between here, and they're actually oh, yeah, the edge. clamps. Yeah. Where you put them on the edge of your board and push in on them and then squeeze them down and they hold the banding material on the uh, edge of your whatever you're trying to band so uh but these work great uh very 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 strong so 
I've got more, but I didn't have time to grab anything other than these to get in here tonight. So, but these are these you say these are old school. Oh yeah, this one actually I've not only used it in woodworking, but if you look real close, you can see where I've used it to weld. You can see the weld. Oh yeah. Well, so I've used this. I not only use it for uh, woodworking, I use it to weld too. So. But that's pretty much all the ones. I mean, that pretty well basically covers. I've got a few different types, but pretty well covers what I use. Like I said, F clamps are probably the uh, uh, number one go to it in this, uh, these Irwin quick clamps. I like um, Shane's um, K clamps, and I'm going to buy me a set of those this year. Uh, I'm going to try to see if Santa Claus will bring me a set. Yeah, they are really nice. I like them a lot. Yeah. But uh, since I got you though, Russ, uh, Steve Friends saying somebody need to teach you how to pronounce the word rockler. Rockler? <laughs> what do I call it? I don't know. Rocklier. You, you, huh? you say rocklier. You say rocklier. Say rocklier. And I, it's a rockler. Yeah. yeah. Rockler. I was in, I was in right. the outside chat saying I was going to say something, but I didn't want to piss them off. So I stay quiet. <laughs> hey. You the say it any way you want to say it, and I'll say it how I want to say it. Got it? Yeah. yeah. The manager, the manager and Rockler if you don't like it, room. it's called mute. <laughs> the manager at well, Rockford said, as long as you have your credit card <laughs> ready, you call me. <laughs> Dude, I can't, everybody's talking at once. I can't hear. Right. You, well, I don't know. If yeah. you do the meet and greet over the store, at least y'all may say the name of the store right, huh? <laughs> yeah, now, by the way, if anybody is here in Florida, um, uh, around this area in Florida, would like to see me, I'm going to be at the Rocklear store in Altamont Springs, Florida. <laughs> and I said Rocklear again. Yes, so. you did. <laughs> so, Russ, hey. out of all your clamps, which ones are your favorite? The F clamps. The F clamps are absolutely yeah, these are the uh, no. These are not. These are Bessie. Thank you. These are Bessie clamps. So the these the F style type clamps. I use these more than anything. And then the Irwin uh, quick quick clamps would be probably my second one that I use more than anything. Okay. And then the Rockler clamps. <laughs> Rockler. Did I say it right? Did I say it right that time? Rockler. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. Y'all gonna kiss my. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't say it. Next with you, Mr. Meadows. I already did mine. You already did yours. Yeah. Yeah. I told you I didn't have any but the uh, Harbor Freight one. And I'm, oh. uh, I'm very envious of all, all those clamps that all y'all showing on your walls. It's aggravating as all get out because I ain't got any. <laughs> I think. Uh, okay. I do like those those long ones that uh, you were showing the, the Irwin clamps. Uh, if they make them in, in uh, um, two foot and four foot sections, that'd be great because I got I got some projects coming up that uh, I could use some of that size. Which ones? Uh, the, the Irwin's, those quick ones that you had, that you showed. These? Yeah. No, yeah, these uh, but a little longer. And say, I'm going to make, uh, I got some projects coming up that I need to make them a little wider than that. No, they don't. I think uh, this is about as wide as they make them. Okay. What's, is that a 12? Uh, I think it's a little more than a 12. Okay. This, cause is, a, probably, this is a 12 inch F clamp. So this is probably a 16. That'd be, that'd be good. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, they have them over here at the Lowe's the store. I, I saw them, but I didn't get them. Yeah. Okay. They may. Uh, I haven't seen them any longer than this because normally what I buy them from is like Home Depot or whatever. Uh, uh, so they may make them. Just check around. Look. Yeah. Well, I like Lowe's because I can get my um, a 10% military discount. You know what I mean? Yeah. It helps. Yes. I think Charles said he had some clamps. He's going to meet me halfway. <laughs> so, Gerald, uh, can you type in the chat section what kind that you use? 
I use K body, pipe clamps, F style clamps, quick grip clamps, and parallel clamps. Not cramps. <laughs> clamps. Jorgensen. Okay, but which one's your favorite? Your go to clamp. The K body? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> and Donald, what's yours, man? I'm like Russ. I, I don't have as many, but I've got a variety of a lot of things that I, it depends on what I'm gluing up. Uh, I use, I've got a set of those Irwin clamps, the quick clamps like he has, which I'll use them to set up with. And then I'll go back and use the Harbor Freight clamps to kind of reinforce it where I ain't got to get that tight grip on it. Just kind of give it that extra little bit of hold. Uh, I've got C clamps for certain things, the little, uh, Spring clamps? Yeah, spring clamps. We've got a couple of the uh, ratcheting clamps like he had. It all depends on what I'm doing. A lot of mine were kind of like given to me, picked up here and there. Uh, the Irwin clamps, my brother-in-law gave them to me, and I, I went to go buy some more, and I looked at them and was like, holy oh, shit, I am a redneck, you know? These prices, you know? <laughs> well, I gotta say, I don't think I ever heard anybody say I use Harbor Freight clamps to reinforce the other clamps. <laughs> That's the only other way around. <laughs> you, you take the the good clamps and you get your general set, your main force set to clamp it with. Then you just in between each one of them, you put the Harbor Freight ones in there that just kind of. You don't kill it because you're going to wind up with one like Brian's got. Uh, <laughs> well, you know what? I just used mine to clamp on a, a stupid rubber mud flap on a fiberglass fender. I wasn't using that much force, and the thing went. And now, I've, this, noticed, I've noticed this one's some a good of them. <laughs> I've got some of those that have lasted me a long time and ain't, ain't, ain't gave me any problem, but then I've got others that break the second time you look at them funny. <laughs> oh, and uh, the uh, wedge clamps I put that tabletop together with that uh, I made, I saw Izzy, Izzy's video and I decided to try some of those. I like them for doing up something like that. I think I, I've never tried to bar clamps, so I'm not sure, but the way they worked and stayed flat and steady while I was putting them together, I really like the way they worked. So. Yeah, they worked pretty good. How about you, Charles? He finally called on me. Um, these, I was the first clamps I ever bought. <laughs> First clamps I ever bought were Harbor Freight, and uh, see that? I oh. never had one of that happen. <laughs> um, that's Harbor Freight, so they can. Now I only use Rolex and Ferrari clamps. That's a that's a joke. I'm you know joking. where I get mine though? I get mine at Walmart. Big bag for like ten bucks. I uh, well, this is a, a rare. Hence why they break on your Walmart fall apart. No, that those haven't broke. Uh huh. Yeah. Matter of fact, I make camera mounts out of them too. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, man. It's quite all right, my friend. It is your show. I will shut my mouth. I'm kidding with you. And anyway, these are my clamps here. These, these the old kind here. I don't know why I talk like this, but these are the old clamps. You know, just. What happened to the rubber boot on the other end? Well, that that would be too too much organization skills to keep it on there. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, <laughs> then I actually have one you've heard of, an Irwin. I've, I've got a little bitty. He's uh, got a little bitty one. <laughs> oh, I love this public crap. Anyway, <laughs> I have the the little bitty version, it's not so version cute. of this, <laughs> y'all. Yeah, <laughs> gonna drive me to drinking. Anyway, this is like the midsize. <laughs> this is one that's not broke. Are, it is now. These are rat. These are yeah. These are the ratcheting kind. It's called flex a flex a jaw. I will hold that up close so you can memorize the name. 
they are very good clamps. I don't know if they sell other sizes, but uh, you know they loosen and tighten on these parts, so you can have wider and wider. And they are ratcheting, and they don't release unless you click there. It's kind of like what Russ had, except they got the option to change the flesh color. I saw them at a demonstration at one of the woodworking shows, and I was very impressed with them. Those are really nice clamps. And I didn't throw that one because I actually like it, and I'm not going to throw this one because it's too heavy. But that's that's the other that's the largest clamp I have I don't have very many clamps because I eat cardboard for breakfast but that's the brand name if you're interested and that's my store and I'm sticking to it so what's your go-to clamp anything I can find <laughs> except for that one that only has one clamp yeah or one side yeah well I basically have the same kind of clamps as you all uh, basically Harbor Freight, I go through a lot of them. Uh, but they got lifetime warranty and they're inexpensive to buy. So I figure it's a small investment and it'll last you a long a lifetime. Uh, they, say you can't have too many, they say you can't have too many clamps or wood glue or anything like that, but I, I just, and I'm not trying to give a sob story. I just can't, can't afford nothing. I got the I got the Craig clamps. Uh, I got the corner clamps, all them, you know. I got the Rockler wooden clamps. I like these when I work with cedar and stuff because they don't mar the wood. And not only that, you can get a nice wide spread across that board if you're gluing two boards together. I've seen people use those when they're uh, uh, working on the drill press. To hold the item yeah. down. I've seen a lot yeah. of that. Got a little cutting, little V notch out of it. You can make a little. Uh -huh. <laughs> but my go to clamp, and you'll, you've probably seen them in the fly videos a lot, and I can't find the stands to them. Yes, my clamp stand. <laughs> uh, my favorite is the jack clamp. And uh, this is <laughs> my largest one. And I haven't used it in a while, so bear with me. <laughs> it's got a nice wide opening. But not only can you use it as a clamp, you can use it as a spreader. It's got nice little levels on it, so if you're doing trim work on a door or whatnot, you can use these. Um, What's that extra bar at the top for to extend that on out? Oh, heck. I should have got a newer one. You can interchange these bars. To work in different variations. Uh, and I mean, these are very cool. Uh, well, I'll be. You know, mess my head up trying to figure out how you're putting it together. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> well, see, the problem is, is with me being and not working in the shop, some of my stuff's got corroded. And it's, it's having a hard time. All right, Brian, this is how we're going to take care of your problem. Send me all your clamps. <laughs> Anytime I get corroded, I take x lax But, yeah. But I got a challenge for you guys. I picked A. No B. Can you, can you spread two two-by-fours apart with your clamps? Yeah, I can. Anyway. Yeah, my, these K clamps, they also will uh, go around. All I got to do is just take this end piece off right here. Hold on. Let me get it on you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me put it back on then. Okay. Yeah. All right. These are the F style, uh, the K body clamps that I got. Then you got these can also reverse. All you got to do is this little end piece here. You got a little pull deal. You pull pin, take it off, and then... Your body can just come off and just turn it around. All right. 
And then, yeah, now it's a spreader. So, yeah, okay. you can spread them. Can you get in between two two-by-fours and spread them apart? Say like yeah. you're doing fencing. No, I don't know. No, I don't have enough room for that. Or not even two by four. Say you got wooden planks that are pinching in the middle and you want to spread it out and nail it. Can you get your clamp in there to do that? No, I got to have a good probably three or four inches just to get it in the normal now, way. Now say you're doing decking and your two by fours are bowing in the middle while you're setting up your decking. Can you, can you get them in there to spread them apart? I got mom in there with the hammer to spread them apart. <laughs> I can with mine. Dang, boy. You go, boy. <laughs> Goes right in there. It's got these little metal metal uh, things that go over the edge of your your clamp. You can put these right in, in the crevice there and spread them apart. Well, if you're not in the shop much and you're not not letting you're letting them all get corroded, just send them on up here. I'm in, I'm not that far away from you. <laughs> How much was those things? Did you buy them or were they sponsored to you? Now, Shane. Russ, Russ, you're the mailman. He ought to be able to get free shipping. Shane, <laughs> if you're coming to me, I might pay for it. Shane. Yes. How much now, you? with your clamps, can you hold something round, firm? I wouldn't say uh, securely no, because they'll pop out, but I can get a good clamp on it. No, Brian, but can yours? <laughs> yeah. Mine can. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but how strong is that metal there? What is that? It looks pretty thin. It is strong. It don't bend at all. I'll show you. I'll probably break this, break this Harbor Freight clamp before I bend it. Dang, that's good. Okay, Th these are really strong, and I just love them. These are my go-to, and I love these things. Yeah, I seen a demonstration where they use the jack part, and uh, they jacked up a four four-wheeler with one of these oh oh man yeah i've watched the uh, a lot of the uh videos on some of, on those and i've been very impressed i'd like to have a set of them you can just grip the heck out of these and the handle won't break you gotta give us the price now yeah what's the price and Ain't these gone. are the short bars he ain't gonna tell you uh, that's the catch. <laughs> you notice the difference between the bars here? Oh, where the hell is the other one? <laughs> Brian, how much do they cost? Okay, they vary in all different. All different. Uh, you can get just the, cl uh, the clamp itself, or you can get the whole system. I I got the whole system. And I believe they're like two hundred bucks. Comes with a pair of these. Comes with these uh, round clamp things to hold your pipes and stuff. Uh, the spreaders for decking and everything. Um, and it also comes with the stand to where you can actually stand up your clamps. And if you you don't want to you know lay it down or, or clamp it, you just set it on your table and just clamp down on stuff. It, it work, it's pretty good when you're working with pipe and you're wanting to saw stuff down. You can set this and the legs just slip on just like these do. And you can clamp this to your table and this won't move at all. Not only that, they got nice rubber ends. So they're not going to slip on you or mar anything. But Let's see here. Now put it back together the other way it was. <laughs> now this this is the small bar and this is the large bar. 
Now, if you're interested, are, I'm actually I'm on the website. Yet, but we're also giving these away in the in the two by four challenge. I believe it's the two by four. Either that you're or the bird. Yeah, it's the bird. Uh, it's the two by four, I think. But uh, I am on the website, and it does show the prices. For a single perler bar jack cramp, it's fifty four ninety nine. But you yeah. can get a contractor's pack of eight jack, jack cramps for four hundred and thirty one ninety five. Yeah, well, the system's only one hundred twenty five dollars. Yeah, really uh, These uh, attachments are fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. How much are the spreaders? Uh, I don't. I don't see spreaders on here. Uh, they're, they're part of the uh, pack on the upper left, Shane. Yeah. Part of the jet clamp system. Yeah, uh, hundred twenty-five ninety-nine uh, for those. Um, you also see how they stand up like that. That's what I was talking about. And then you can clamp it to your tabletop while you're doing uh, pipe work and stuff. The short bar and the top bar both work in the in the clamp system. That's if I can get things to work right. <laughs> well, these go to a set of clamps. Okay. Anybody have any idea what they are? Oh yeah, band clamps. Giraffe clamps. Yep. <laughs> this one time in band clamp. <laughs> See what I did there? I got yeah. my heart was <laughs> one time in band clamp. That was funny. Fine. So yeah, please stand by, folks. <laughs> <laughs> now I can get together. <laughs> I've seen many things in my life, but a clamp there we go. contest never. <laughs> but yeah they're very strong and very durable and if you enter the 2 by 4 challenge you can possibly get a set of those I did Brian you didn't <laughs> Man, I had two videos put in Brian two so yeah, oh, I know you did pretty good and that second one I got a little bobo out of it a bobo or a boo boo? <laughs> bobo, I don't know. A a bobo? <laughs> Although my finger is better now. It did feel old pretty nicely. Well, she didn't get a rock leader. <laughs> 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 well, I think I should win those clamps just for uh, my injuries. No, because you ain't supposed to get injuries. <laughs> <laughs> it's a training video to see what not to do. I gotta say, Shane's more man than I am. I would if I cut myself like that. I'd be darn if I'd be standing around taking pictures of it. No, mom was mad because I told her to do it. Mom, get the sewing kit. <laughs> oh, and uh, uh, it hasn't been said, but you can also use tape tape as a clamp and nails. By God. Now, or, or screws, you know, because nails are harder to get out if you're just you using duct, them for clamping. You use duct tape and put your finger back on. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe, Russ. <laughs> now, if oil spills, you need something heavy just to hold things down. Sit on it. Ramsey's favorite oh. clamp is bag of sand or a brick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I usually use my uh, belt sander as as a weight. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in the jack clamp, you can just go to jackclamp.com. You can see they vary from fifty dollars to what was it, two hundred? I was thinking four hundred and something, didn't I? Yeah, for the contractor special. That's if you're in the cabinet. Hold on, I'll go back to it. Yeah, I've got the screen, so. Anyway, I set up the band clamp for you. It's All right. All right. That's a four hundred. Now, is that the ratcheting kind or is that the handle type? 
The what? The ratcheting kind? The ratchet? Or is it the twist? This is the ratchet? Oh, yeah. that's a different one. Yeah, it's the ratchet kind. I, I'd be willing to get that here from Harbor Freight. I take it you got that from Harbor Freight. Huh? You got that from Harbor Freight? I believe I did, yes. <laughs> I think I'd rather have that That's one. Where I got I've mine. got two of them. <laughs> you know, I've got I, two uh, of them from Sloan's. <laughs> I love mine. I've used it I don't know how many times to on picture frames. It is fantastic. I could have used it. <laughs> not only is it a clamp, if you need to hold something down on the trailer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used because I've got regular straps for that. But uh, what I loved about it is I had to do some picture frames that were like two foot uh, by three foot, uh, very large frames, and that was the only thing I had large enough that we could go all the way around those dimensions and pull the, pull it together so that I could uh, uh, make the frames and get them nice and tight and square. So, those two that I bought from uh, from Sloan's, uh, the the ratchet part of it is a lot smaller than that, and uh, I ended up throwing them things in the trash can. This one that I've got works great, and it came from Harbor Freight. I'm, I'm gonna have to go look. That's another reason I gotta go over there then. Hey, uh, Shane, is there any videos on there? The who what? Any videos? Uh, let's see. Uh, I've seen nothing so far. How about how to? Maybe. Now it just looks like a bunch of pictures. They made them for Donald. You gotta have pictures. If they were for me, wouldn't the video be better? <laughs> there oh, well, there's the video right there. Huh. Come on, open up. Fine, let's go here then. Oh, that ain't showing nothing. Yeah, you could do all that with that fence. Can anybody hear this? No. No. No, sir. We're not going to be able to hear it. Can you see that right there? Yes. My wife just finished making this for her cruise she's going on in November. That's the boat she's going to be on. And uh, <laughs> she used her paper CNC machine. Her That's right nice, but it's going to be hard to fit in that little bitty boat. I know. Yeah. Man. She's a pretty big girl. So I don't think she can fit in there either. <laughs> I was gonna say I think she's trying to give you a hint. I don't she's going, I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I don't recognize I'd I don't think I'd call her a pretty big girl on public show and you live No, she uh she did that on the uh that silhouette that uh, that she uses to make all her vinyl stuff with. Cool. You notice she's got the headsets on so she can't hear what he's saying. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she can. She's standing right behind me. She can hear everything I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> she can't hear y'all. <laughs> she just didn't uh, uh, didn't catch what you said. <laughs> no, hi, say hi, Teresa. He said hi. hi. Teresa. Charles better hope you can't read lips. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Don't know what we're going to be doing next week. Uh, Listing off all our prescription drugs. Why don't we take a tour of Russ? I think I prescription. Russ. Russ Clarity. No. Get Reddos. Oh, you can't take a tour of my shop. You can't even get it. Yeah, he got a new <laughs> toy that he's trying to learn. I've got that thing so tore up. We want to see that CNC, man. He just <laughs> got it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of the box. I am. Uh, I am to the point where I'm doing the uh, the modification on the on the uh, that Z plate. I have, it was I have to go get me a tap and see. Man, you about as slow as a U.S. mail. Oh. <laughs> All I can say is you're lucky the long arm of the law don't get to you right now, by God. I don't, 
<laughs> and that was the day Shane stopped getting mail. I don't know why. <laughs> All you were getting them cookies and candy and stuff like that. Nah. I'm taking everybody, all that stuff out of Jamestown ain't going nowhere. <laughs> what did you, what did you, did you just ask us, Brian? I wanted to see if we had any questions over in the chat section. Not, not that I've seen, sir. They were uh, um, um, said saying hi to people. Donna Presley just joined. And, hi, Donna. Uh, I'm trying to get her in, into the show here. Oh, who's, on, who's all over there, Charlie? We have TJ's workshop, woodshop. <laughs> TJ's Woodworking Shop. We have Donna Presley, Dave Gatton, uh, Moon Pie Creations, uh, Jerry Brown, Steve French, Jim Brashears, me, uh, more of me, and uh, Shane every now and then. Yeah, buddy. Hi, everybody. I ain't got it on YouTube loaded yet. Well, it's a little late to start now, hey? <laughs> well, Jerry, if you're watching this, you got a set of jack clamps because you wanted one of my contests. Yep. How do you like them? Plug, plug. Um, 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 Moon Pie Creations' name is Ken. I did not know that until just now. His name is what? Ken. 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 K-E-N. Ken and Barbie. I wasn't going to go there. He's probably never <laughs> heard that. <laughs> Howdy, Donna. Oh, but Don is going to say hi to everybody but me. I see. Okay, Don. All right. All right. I know who's not getting brownies. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve French has also been over there. I saw him. Yeah, I, I, th I, thought, I, I thought I mentioned him. You did. Yeah. Did yeah. You? There you go thinking again, working yeah. without tools. <laughs> so, and Donald. Uh -oh. What's happening on your on your deck of the woods, man? You gonna be getting the shop soon, or? It's probably gonna be it, it's gonna be a few months at least. Uh, I'm getting ready to just start working out in the yard here for too long, and just I'm do what I got to do out here. You know, you can take up woodland. <laughs> Good lordy. I would actually Ain't that what all the rednecks do? Yeah. <laughs> I would mean, take a cooking, cooking, uh, <laughs> sewing, crocheting. Oh, yeah. Oh, if, if you don't mind, and even if you do, I'd like to take this For time. For the record, to... I already know how to crochet. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Ain't nothing right. I, I have nothing to hide. No shame in this game. I also got two youngins, too. So. <laughs> Well, I, I'd like to take this time to thank the public that I finally, finally broke 4,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. And I am proud of that. You thank did. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm, I don't know what to say. So what do I get? Not a bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm under 1,000. It won't take me too much longer, and I'll be hitting what? my 1,000 mark. Well, I just hit 1,500. How long did it take you to get to 4,000? Uh, about two years. <laughs> I'm at zero. Years. Thank you, Gerald. Okay, I'm at 94 right now. So y'all, if y'all haven't subscribed to me yet, go to Shane's Cyber Shop. Subscribe to me so I can hit that thousand mark so I can be somebody. Well, it, it I probably would have done it sooner, and I don't mean that in an arrogant way. I'm dogging myself because I waited four months to put another video out, so that's on me. So. I apologize to my subscribers as well that I keep letting well, my life way, get in the way. Bringing that up, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that video. Thank you. That you put out. <laughs> I, I got tickled with that damn thing. I laughed. <laughs> well, I had to do something besides a standard close up of me cutting because I don't like to reveal the project till the end. So I <laughs> figured I'd throw some comedy in there and I, I felt like I looked stupid as heck doing it. <laughs> so that's why I said what I said at the beginning of the video. Maybe well, you did. Play. That's why it was so funny because you look funny. stupid as heck. I, I love you too, Russ, and I'm the only one that didn't make fun of Rocklier. Rocklier. <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, Y'all take the time to hit the like button and the share. Share the video, by God. And uh, I'll be expecting those jack clamps here pretty directly, Brian. <laughs> I, I would. I do have to say you one thing, though. Those. I said it. I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, have to say one thing. I did watch it, and I got a kick out of it. Uh, 
the way you did it, it was it was done excellent. It was very funny, very. Oh, like, well, reason, I actually like that. It was humorous. I yeah, appreciate yeah. the reason why I said this is the stupidest video I've ever done is I'm having to sit there in front of a camera talking smack, but I had to make it sound natural. Right. So I just tried to pretend like there was somebody in front of me losing their patience and. You know, I just don't play with it. Well, it came off perfect. It was great. I, I sit there and laugh. I wasn't expecting it because I've watched your videos before, so there's no way, shape, or form I was expecting. And all of a sudden, you did it the first time, and then it, when you did it the second time, I'm sitting there laughing my butt off. I'm waiting for the third one now. I'm gonna, this is going to be good. What you going to come up with next? You uh, must have snuck one in there on me because I ain't seen it. So. Oh, I, it, I think it's called Just Calm Down or something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh, a good one. I, oh, if it said calm down, that ain't why, that's why I avoided it. Calm down. It's more making <laughs> make fun of myself, but it, it, it's making, actually, it's all based on the fact that I hadn't had a video out in four months and 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 showing my latest project. That's yeah, one that's you can show. That's one, that, that's one that Donald can show his roommate when she wants to bring that axe out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you're, you're watching it now. <laughs> you're, you're, you're complaining about not doing videos. Heck, this is the first time I've been able to get out in my shop and not cry. Thank you. Thank you, Donna and State French, by the way. With the air conditioning, I'm at 77 degrees in here. I'm feeling good. So hopefully I can start doing some stuff around here. About if time. They, if the heat would stay away. <laughs> hey, you realize you're in South Texas, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, South Texas. It's been about a hundred and something oh, every hot. day. Every day. Brian, who's your shop partner behind you? That is Rocky Balboa Gidney. <laughs> hey, how you doing? You gonna, can I get some food over here? You know, yeah, no, so I, I, I can't grow with no food and water. Children. I have her baby children. Yo, Adrian, I need some food and water over here. I don't want to sit here and look cute, all right? Hey, you want me to bring him over? He'll bust you up, buddy. <laughs> yo, yo, if you, you think he's a like Look at his face. Look at think, him. Does he look like he gives a. <laughs> hey, all I know is that you guy, he goes up against German <laughs> Shepherd. <laughs> My mom's poodle thinks she's a pit bull. <laughs> so, how about some food and water over here, Brian? I love you, Rock. <laughs> Get him, Rocky. Yeah, he's my baby boy. He just turned seven years old, and and uh, that's old for a dog. I don't like him getting old. <laughs> I I picked him up the first day that he was born, and I said, "This is the one that I want." So what made you what made you name him Rocky Balboa? That was a <laughs> terrible impression right there. I think I did it better earlier. But go ahead. I don't know. Uh, I've had Bud, Bubba, Benji, uh, Ginger. You got to the bees, don't you? I had a lot of bees, and I was trying to stay away from the bees. And, and you, uh, you still got Balboa. <laughs> no, my, my guy, Rocky, that's it. <laughs> my, my, my dad has two beagles. He named one Bud for Bud Light because that's what he drinks. He yeah, I had a Dalmatian that was a... He, he named the other one Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my Rottweiler part golden retriever. Oh, uh, okay. Bubba. <laughs> yeah, for those that don't know, what Chigger is those little red bugs that bite you in Texas. Is, we call is, them that, is that what he got in the morning after the buzz light? Yeah. <laughs> and he woke up. Bubba. <laughs> I say this because I've been there, done that. What? Pass that wood somewhere. <laughs> got a book of Chiggers. <laughs> When I got with mom, she really did not like dogs at all. Uh, my brother had a dog, and every time we would go and visit them, we had to keep the dogs away from mom or Shelly because she don't like dogs. Well, we got on the truck, me and her started truck driving together, and I wanted a dog. So I talked to her, dude, let me get me a dog for the truck. It make us get out of the truck and get some exercise. So we went and looked at some dogs, and I picked up the run. I fell in love with this little poodle. And I gave him to mom, made mom hold him, 
And sure enough, while mom was holding him within a minute, he puked all over his mom. I said, oh, that dog is dead. Don't have to go in love with him. So oh. he passed the dog. And since mom would like to cook, we named the dog Cookie. And Cookie was a part of our family. She, she fits in better than I did. But as Cookie got older, I told mom, well, we need to get Cookie a, a, a partner, a friend. So we looked around and we found another dog, a little poodle, black colored. But uh, we're trying to think, what can we name, name him? I mean, we got one Cookie. We'll go good with Cookie. So I said, well, Great. He's, a, uh, he's a, he's a uh, two-tone <laughs> black poodle. So his name was Scotty. So we got cookies and cream. Got Scotty. Cookies and cream. Man. Cookies and cream, here. man. I didn't think about cream. <laughs> this show, this show totally got sidetracked. I'm just throwing. It <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your dog. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, well, we uh, had to actually get rid of them not too long ago because the company I drove with uh, didn't allow dogs. I changed jobs since then, but then that company wouldn't allow us to have dogs. So we gave them to a rehoming shelter, and they promised that they wouldn't put the dog down and that they would find them a home. And sure enough, the next day, they were both got a new home. Good deal. I tell you what, when it comes to my baby, I live in the back end of my pickup before I give them up. It was I, tough on us. It was tough because that was our kids. Yeah. Yeah, miss all us. Sorry, I had the song stuck in my head. Four minutes over? No, I, I'm just trying to be funny. That's right. how I roll. Okay, Charles. Sawdust. <laughs> to our viewers. If there's anything you would like for us to show you, leave it in the comment section. Please give this video a like and share it with your friends because it helps out the show. Um, there's like, all the everywhere. <laughs> okay, Russ. I'll give you Thank a you, bye, Russ. No. Take your hopes up. He, he just already he already gets sad and they don't encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> just give me sawdust, lots of sawdust all around me and everywhere. I like it flying all around my shop and even in my beard and hair. Hi everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.